Welcome back to, in a way, a special video. Um, I have to talk about uh, the father of Hinata I Ishwari, Yashi, Yashi Yuka. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with my pronouncement. Um, let's start with the abilities. The abilities, let's be honest, yes, the ability of ignore substitution. So you will do damage to anyone who has some dodge and will, uh, how you say, will ignore the damage reduction. Uh, why I love these type of things in abilities? Because you really only need to normal attacks, even ignore it. That is why I love um, this type of uh, ignore stuff on abilities and not more on Jutsus. Um, I bring this thing because I want to you to compare, because it's really, really rare to have units, uh, free to play or not, to have this type of range. And uh, this is why I also like uh, Yashi, I think, let me just check again, Yashi, okay. <laughs> um, because the range is AoE, first, the, in a way I'm talking already about the shoots, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm trying to say is AoE, do not regenerate chakra, I think the base damage will be really uh, not above 100k, so, but let's, do, let's feel, see what the Jutsu does. Uh, 5 attack to all enemies in range, knocks them back and puts the air barrier up, protects you 50 damage worth of attacks of 3 turns, and you get immune to Jutsu and ultimate for 1 turn. I mean, it's only 1 turn, yes, but let's be honest, uh, with, the, with the barrier I think it's great for uh, Jutsu. And don't forget, it also ignores sub and damage reduction. So let's see the hit mark. Uh, okay. Uh, you can see like this. Then uh, now let's let's hit one. Enemy. We have to subtract one attack. So yeah, sixty-one. I know it's not uh, a big deal per se, but with that range. But let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a free unit with a big range and is AoE, so I think it's fair to have that damage. The only thing, the only problem I have with him is really the fact is don't go under 28, and I mean, I think it will be only fair for him to go under 28, to be honest. That will be like the perfect free-to-play unit. But what he's already having is already good for the, for having on your box. So we go for the ultimate and uh, yeah, in the video, see ya. Okay, now it's time to see the ultimate. The ultimate, uh, I'm going to see uh, 15 attacks to one enemy in range, not in bag, save sense to Jutsu Sealing and or attack reduction for three turns. So, um, really nice percentage. Too bad it's only to one enemy. But uh, let's check it out. Let's see the base damage, don't get any attack buffs. Let's go. Okay, I love the part that everyone <laughs> appear. So yeah, I think uh, it's worth it to farm this unit just because of the animation. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, they are doing such a great job on the ultimate animation, man, it's just amazing. Um, what else can I say about this unit? Uh, it's a 4 chakra on Jutsu, and 8 on ultimate of course. It does ignore on abilities dodge and, sub and uh, damage reduction, I mean, I know that his base attack is really bad, but we have to th say it again, he's a free unit. Don't we probably have put on him, and I'll say it again, is the fact that he does not go for 128. If it was under 28, I will say he was one of the best free to play units, but uh, it's not the case. But I think he is great to have on your box for collection purpose. I mean, it's, it's really easy to farm, you just have to buy it on the shop. Um, but that's guys, that's, in the end, uh, it's another free to play unit. Uh, um, you farm if you want, you are not forced to anything. But uh, again, I think the, the ultimate is just worthy. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.